I'm going to show you this idea of Vim tags that it's really quite a very simple idea that I've recently discovered you know you normally have these comments this is a bit of code I'm trying to write it's a very kind of a basic bit of code in here the first line I've got an if statement um, this is basically the whole program it just runs like this if this blah 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 try this try that and that's the end of the program it's just a script that runs and tries to control a, a program using a joystick as, as, as this is happens to do so basically each question is saying something like has this button been pressed has the joystick been pushed to the left has the joystick been pushed to the right it's really simple to actually see it what, what, it, what it is it's just a, a program that controls a, another program from a joystick that you know makes it nice and easy to control it rather than using uh, a keyboard it's actually Adobe Reader I'm trying to control Adobe Reader for a joystick don't ask me why but I find it helps it just kind of helps me to, to read things using a joystick to control Adobe Reader it's a nice simple way of getting um, getting a, a nice PDF document done uh, you know from top to bottom that, that I can start reading and use a joystick to kind of scroll down in all kinds of nice ways and makes it nicer than using like cursor keys or mouse wheel and all that stuff it's just a nice way to read a text document PDF from start to finish so all this is doing is that it's looking like has a joystick being pushed right and do something else then the right or then the left and this bit is trying to do something to do with uh, the getting the, 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 the getting the uh, getting the information of has the joystick been pushed to the left or to the right because that's on the left paddle that 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 does something or does something else so you got is the left paddle joystick to the left or is it just left um left paddle joystick to the right in which case it does it displays some extra panels that make it easier to read or it hides those panels so you can see it's actually very simple to read it, can't you? I mean, even someone who's not really that code literate can see this code. This is the beauty of it. It's, it's, it's this thing that I've discovered recently to make it easier to kind of understand what you're doing with, with a piece of code. It's called the tags. For example, right, okay, so there's no clutter, there's no comments here. It's, it's, it's a relatively simple variable name has the scrolling been started or not so this is like a control flag with a program that allows a program to track something or other it's not that relevant not important what it is but it's basically asking a question right from here to there if that true then do this otherwise don't do anything just go on to the next bit so this is the the great thing about this stuff with these tags i'm just going to illustrate how powerful this is so you might want to know well why why is that why is that part important so you go right and um, control right square bracket here why are we asking that click and then it tells me to a related vim file the related file to to um the file that i've just come from is 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 is, is, is jumped like a hyperlink it's basically just done like a html hyperlink to another file and the thing is you can use this in your programs you more or less can put some kind of html kind of links into your program and it doesn't even there's no other program in it that lets you do this kind of thing this is very clever stuff so i want to do blah 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 a letterbox blah 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 consists of two panels so that's why it's asking it, this letterbox only happens you know it can only happen when the scrolling is not happening so which is why you're asking the question well you know if the scrolling is not happening then you can do that otherwise don't do that Sorry about the flickering, by the way. That's just a little thing I've got in the background. Um, it's, just, it's just just my little annoying thing that I like having. Okay, so you got the, you've got now even got another hyperlink within the help itself. At this point, the question try to ensure the scrolling. Does, there's more information here. This is even more clever because now it's given me another link within that jumps me within the code. At this point. This is the point of asking this question. So it's now going to talk to me something inside the code itself. So I go right square bracket, control right square bracket here, and it takes me back to the code. So that is basically all that explanation there. I go back, all that blah, blah, blah. It's because this and that blah, 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 blah. So that is why I'm asking this question.
So you can see the explaining power of these tags, can't you? So blah blah blah, what am I doing? Blah blah blah, okay, okay let's see. Right square bracket, control right square bracket. Oh, blah 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 blah. Yes, blah, blah, blah. so okay, so this is actually why I'm asking this question. So I've now made another link to go back there. Then I can come back and read more information. Later, I'm fancy to do some stuff, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this, this, this basically, if, if that is true, then, 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 then the blanking panels are turned on. So then again, there's another link to the code itself. And you see what's going on here. It's like magic. It's actually navigating my, my thought process right in straight in the middle of the code. So in order to do this, this means this, this means that this happens here. I don't think there's anything else. It's better than having like a clutter of codes all going off everywhere trying to explain what different bits of the code are. Instead, you just have a nice, easy to read, blah, blah, blah text. Same here. So, blah, 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 blah. If that, blah, blah. If that isn't true, then you're pushing the joystick to the other side. Then you go, chikung. Again, you know, you straight away, you just get this massive clarity. What you're seeing here, you, you're witnessing like in a massive driving clarity kind of a way that that, that has never has never seen in any text editor these these things are called tags how powerful these tags are and it's so simple you know i've actually linked from from the text file back to the code and from the code to a text file helping me again you know okay so actually but this is speaking blah blah close blah, blah blah that's that question there close one and blah blah you see so i'm just going okay, i'm trying to ask a question and show the client it's not going on so again it's talking me about this bit it's like i'm i'm presenting it's almost as if i'm standing in front of the code with a big light pen showing you different parts of the code and explaining it and just by me sitting here this is like you getting this massive induction of information that that is all thought and nicely categorized i mean it's it's it's, it's, it's quality that's absolute quality and the thing is they're so easy to do I and mean, the, the the beauty is not difficult to do what it is basically in this directory where this script lives dropbox scripts there's a thing called a tags file and that tags file is like the switchboard of all these all these hyperlinks so in in that tags file it's simply called that tags e tags literally tags and this is a standard name every directory is assumed to have one of these but anyway by vim and it, it will always try and find the tags so whenever you do any control right square bracket on anything it will look for a tags file in that directory so it's, it's already built in, it's just like code formatting or code indenting, it's actually there right at your fingertips. If you just create a tags file, then it will start to search that tags file for this tag, whatever tag you've got, whatever's under the cursor when you control right square bracket, whatever else, you know, it will look in that tags file and says, oh, okay, there's a link here to this other file explaining things, and I, and I can go there. So that's basically, without going into how it works, that's basically what's happened. And this actually directory is, is, also, is also in the same directory. It's just another file in the same directory. And this, because this also looks in the same directory, so it finds in that tag file, there's another tag that's actually tried to ensure blah, blah, blah. It's all got to be one or one word, you know, so that's about the only limitation. You know, it can't be spaced, you know, but that's not too bad because you can use underscores to do it. So it's still restability. You can read it, try to ensure blah, blah. blah. It's, it's not the end of the world. So in that tags file, there's basically all the links are defined. So where you find one of these, you go to that file in that position, or where you find it, and so on. It's, it's actually really simple. It's just simply tags, and help. You can you can you can you can look up some of the. You know, I put some of the um, put some links onto my pages about how you can create tags, and this is very simple isn't it i mean you can't really argue with this this is built in it's just as simple as typing in a space or um closing a bracket automatically for you to, i mean i mean or finding the other side of a bracket it's like you know it's a simple thing or indenting code it's like you know it's that simple it's, it's really built in but the beauty of it is how how easy and simple it explains everything that that's the that's that's the whole idea I'm not going to get into how you, how do you actually do that, but it's basically just using a tags file. I'll put I'll show you here. X in this directory, the way this file lives, there's this thing, a tags file, and this tags file is used by all these sources, and it links basically. It just it's just one tag, 
where where it should be going to and where on, on that file it should be going to it's all all like that and it's all got to be alphabet but apart from that it's nothing very it's just a switchboard you know it's literally plugging one thing tag and destination tag and destination that's it that's all it's doing from left tag and destination this is going to power tags power caps or whatever. this is quite quite extensive loads of tags i don't even need here to be honest with you but the point is that it's easy to put it in because vim automatically finds it it's always looking for a thing called tags so every time you look you look at that it's, it's always every time you right click right square bracket control right it's always looking for that so it's, it's, it's built in it's right, very powerful it's, it's i thought i thought many people should really understand how this works this is really really very useful for coming in code i mean imagine having loads of code here trying to explain all that and i've just done that in seconds i've got it like in, in seconds what that's trying to do it's just revolutionary how how easy it is to understand uh, you know clarity is really amazing anyway thanks for watching i hope that helps